All right, so we got a question here that starts with what is that, Billy? That's actually I think that's Latin. All right, well that might be a spell or something then. Anyway. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. All right, we'll see all y'all in a in a couple months. We gotta evacuate the prison. What the hell? Voodoo did you send us? All right, I think the curse has been lifted. More like Voodoo did this, so we can counter Voodoo them. All right. What's this part? I don't know. That's kind of a that's kind of a weird U and a weird B. My name is Holger Perlenbacher. Writing you from Germany. All right, so that might be German, but it's probably still Latin or Arabic. They're usually interchangeable. He wanted to ask if and how German ghosts differ from the ones you encounter in your daily professional work in America. From what I heard, you also have experiences with paranormal occasions in Russia and Egypt, so I hope for your international expertise. Well, that's right. We just kind of demonstrated some of our international expertise right there, at least... At least me, Billy, did with my language of knowledges. First of all, when, I, when the first time I met a German ghost, he's speaking Spanish or something. That's the main thing with German ghosts. They don't speak any English, so it's kind of hard to know what they want. So really, we just get rid of them. We <laughs> just get rid of them. Which, I mean, is what we do with most ghosts. It's like if you're trying to interrogate a mannequin. Unless, except the mannequin is yelling at you in weird words that... That you don't understand and make you confused and upset. That sounds... I'm upset just thinking about that. Right, right. See? All right. Did we answer this? Kind of. Uh, German ghosts, what else do they do? They wear socks and sandals. Right. They wear wooden shoes. They uh, click when they talk. Like that. Oh, but you know, one good, one great way to tell a, a German ghost from an English one is you put out a chocolate cake. And then you put out a German chocolate cake. And you see which one the ghost goes for. You're going to need a lot of extra cakes, too, because if, in my experience, you're going to end up eating most of the cake. And it's just going to be clips of each other eating it, and you're going to get mad and get in a fight, and you're not going to talk for a week, and then you're not going to... Well, it's not not like we're speaking from experience or anything. All right, so you also asked about Russian and Egypt ghosts. Um, I mean, there's a whole episode about Egypt, so you just go can go watch that. It's right, on right. Facebook. What was the... When did we go to Russia? Is that where Transylvania is? I don't think so. Well, we hadn't been to Russia, unless we said we did in another video. Did we say that? I don't know. He probably knows better than we do. Have we been to Russia? I don't know. Our, oops, I punched the thing. All right, we got another question here. This one is called, Is Vape Ghost? Hello, Goost. All right, that's, that's one. That's, that's a strike. strike. That's a strike right there. Goose guys goo. That's two strikes. Do we do multiple for each mistake in the name? Because some people are going to strike out right off the bat. Well, if they strike out right off the bat, that's easier for us, and that's a lesson to them. That's two strikes. Uh, I have a very important question. My stepdad vapes, and I'm concerned that his vape is a ghost because it looks like ghost, and it's going to spook me and my mom. How can I banish the juicy vape ghost and maybe also banish my stepdad, too? Here's something I learned pretty recently. You know, this whole vaping fad was what, what hadn't been around that long. If it's a ghost, it's probably going to start strangling you instead of just floating up into the air harmlessly. Now, I did see a case where this was actually at a Juice store. He had it for sale, although only a professional like us should, should buy this. But it was a, a vape that was haunted. The, the man was vaping on the train tracks and he had headphones in listening to music and he got hit by the train and died and now that vape r rip rips mad ghosts it sure does yeah that's absolutely true now what about spanish Span spanish ba banishing his stepdad all right uh banish the stepdad what you really need is a baseball bat you need a hammer you need some nails and what you're going to do is you're going to hit the nails into the baseball bat and you make a spiked bat and then you uh, run towards your stepdad with that and he'll probably he'll probably abscond on his own. You can tell it's a juicy ghost real easy if, it, if it's wearing booty shorts that say juicy. I have seen that a couple times. It's pretty common for vape ghosts especially. I caught Lemony doing that once. She said, it's laundry day. I said, that don't excuse that girl. Alright, we got one more question for this time. Whoa. 
Oh, golly. It is urgent. Are ghosts attracted to smells? I, I think well, this one was sent in... Ooh, about a month ago. So... Ooh, ooh this person's probably already dead. Definitely dead. Um, well, now you don't have to ask us, right? So... All right, well, we should probably tell all the others some not to die. And Well, you know, we got that one subscriber permanently. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's good, thank you. They can never unsubscribe. That's, yeah, wow, that's nice. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Okay, all right, so ghosts can't smell nothing. They can't smell nothing, so what you need to do is... Right. There's a very specific smell you ought to make for no reason. Right, right. Just kind of, just to taunt them, because they can't smell it and they aren't attracted what to it. What you're going to need to do is, is a, you're going to need to get a vial of blood. doesn't matter whose blood. You're just going to want to draw a nice, pretty symbol. Just draw your favorite symbol on the wall. It's your favorite symbol, but it it's, does need to be this one here, specifically. Right, right. It does need to be this. Exactly. It's it's your favorite already. We know. Yeah, I mean, who who's is my favorite, personally. And it's going to it's gonna need to be on the, the north wall of your house. Mm-hmm. And you, that'll keep them away. And Definitely. Always. Don't do anything with salt. Or anything like that. Don't get any like holy candles, or you don't need any of that stuff. That's all just hearsay. Basically, all this is doing is this makes a smell that ghosts can't. You just kind of like they just like ew icky. It's just and like a. Stay away. This is just kind of like a fun do it at home science experiment to prove right, 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 to right, prove right, right. that of they course, can't smell. Of course, yeah. But do make sure you subscribe before you do this. Oh, and you know one thing we forgot. It's uh, just a little thing. You're just gonna need to say your own name backwards seventeen times. 17, yeah. If you do 60, if you start to kind of feel sick as you're doing it, that's probably just, you're just getting dizzy because you don't normally talk like that. That's all. Right, so just right. keep going, you know, and do do that. So that'll be good. If you're already subscribed, just unsubscribe and resubscribe quick, real quick. Don't mess it up. But don't mess up. Do no. not unsubscribe longer than one millisecond. We'll know. Because we did our own little program we wrote. Right. It lets us know the address of anybody who unsubscribes. All right, you don't need to explain our program to them. 